In 2022, the fourth centennial of the canonization of four Spanish saints will be celebrated. They are St. Teresa of Avila, St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Francis Xavier, and St. Isidro Labrador. That's why the Bishop of Avila traveled to Rome to ask the Pope to visit his country for the occasion. We told the Pope he has a poker of Spaniards, two from the Society of Jesus. The Pope welcomed this. He laughed and told us he's open to the idea, but that his preferential option is for the smallest, most impoverished countries. For the bishop, it's significant that the Pope welcomed the delegation from Avila to receive the invitation. They know that although there's only one year left until the fourth centennial, it's difficult for Pope Francis to visit Spain because of the pandemic and because it's not a periphery country. The Pope clears well, the Pope's affinity for soccer, well, he clears well, and he does so with grace. I think he will fit in well, but we've also seen the difficulties of the pandemic and the difficulty of movement on trips, which would also mean large concentrations of people. For now, the Pope has confirmed only one trip. It will take place in March 2021, when he will visit Iraq. The pandemic has obligated him to cancel a trip to Malta and another one to Hungary, and to postpone important events like World Youth Day in Lisbon and the World's Meeting of Families in Rome. Looking for the perfect Christmas gift? Your search is over! Wish your family and friends a Merry Christmas all the way from Rome with Rome Reports Premium. This app gives you exclusive access to all events, art, and culture inside the Vatican, including sneak peeks into the Pope's life and much more. If you want to be informed this holiday season, this is the perfect gift. Gift someone with Rome Reports Premium and celebrate this holiday season by exploring the Vatican Unseen with exclusive content, new documentaries, and the latest videos. Go to www.romereports.tv or download the app on Android or iPhone and subscribe to the service today.